hello everyone today in this video i'll be discussing on how to pass video exams and what is the um, way and the formula which works like for uh, scoring marks and on what criteria you get marks what you write and how to learn the concepts and which are the concepts which you need to focus upon in any semester any subject okay this formula is same for all the semesters and all the subjects even all the branches right so as a video student i am talking with my experience like how to score the marks so um, there are few uh, things which you need to keep in mind that i'll be discussing now so even if the video gets long it will be worth watching okay so let's get started let's write down the topic how to pass video exams okay so uh, the main thing is that many people don't know the exact formula of how to uh, pass the video exams and therefore they end up getting 8 marks 10 marks and getting simply backlogs okay even one day preparation is enough if you know what to prepare okay even one day preparation is enough if you know what to prepare okay one day is sufficient for you to score decent marks at least for passing it's uh, more than enough okay so um what are the things i need to uh, tell you is that see firstly how many modules are there uh, take any subject in any semester any branch in vto there are totally um five modules right module one module two module three module four module five this tricks works 90 percent of the times okay so don't take it lightly listen carefully to what i tell now um, if you refer to the previous five to six year question papers okay what you have to do you have to go to the google search for that particular subject suppose that the subject is computer networks so you go to uh, google and type computer networks v2 previous year question papers okay they will get not five to ten you will get 15 to 20 question papers your task is to just download the previous five year question papers okay after you have downloaded previous five to six year question papers each module you go through okay take up each module and go through the five year question papers like 2020 uh, 19 18 17 16 okay and make sure that the scheme and all are uh, means the topics are included in the syllabus that all are minor things but the main thing is what i uh, want to tell you is that when you go through the previous papers for each of these module in each of these module you will find one or two questions which are very much repeated okay one or two questions which are repeated in almost all of the question papers actually you'll not get one to one or two you'll get more than one or two okay you'll get like three to four questions uh, which are repeated in all of the papers okay so those questions you have to focus on okay you just note it down those questions i'll tell you just to memorize 10 questions okay just to learn 10 questions and you can easily score 35 to 50 marks or even more okay minimum 35 will paka get okay if you uh, uh, memorize the 10 questions which are the 10 questions you need to memorize that i'll be telling you okay so one or two questions you have to take from module one and same goes for module two another two questions and for module three module four and module five so two questions are like the most repeated ones in all of the papers it has been repeated okay sometimes it happens that you will not get two questions which are repeated but you will get three or four questions which are repeated to, uh, two times in one paper then in another paper it is repeated once and in another paper it, it is repeated twice it's okay 10 questions is very less as compared to the whole subject okay so even if 10 questions goes to 15 questions it's not a, a matter of concern what is the point you need to keep in mind is that that's what i'm uh, trying to focus upon the point is that you need to take the repeated questions okay some of the questions are repeated those you have to take and note it down so how many questions are over here you will be having 10 questions yeah you got 10 questions right now uh, in the externals exams at least uh, one question or two questions are like in the or part so if you uh, if you have memorized two questions suppose that you have memorized two questions from module one okay and those two questions came in or okay there is the or and this question came like this so you can at, at least ex expect seven marks you can write for this one and ex expect seven marks the next the next question is also there for that what you have to write i'll discuss in some other video okay like how to attempt that question and fetch some marks from that as well okay i'll discuss that in separate video now what i'm telling is if you get in different uh, papers you'll get uh, seven marks if you get in the same uh, or question at, at that time you'll get seven plus seven it is equal to 14 or seven plus eight you'll get uh, at least 15 to 16 marks 14 15 16 marks from one module right you'll easily get this many marks now you, if you get uh, seven marks also from this module and from this module also you got seven marks seven marks seven marks and seven marks how many marks you got in total you got 30 uh, 35 marks right that's the passing marks 
many people simply make mistakes don't study the uh, relevant concepts and simply waste their time in some other concepts and they end up getting zero marks or single digit marks or uh, very less marks less than the passing marks now this was the uh, worst case like if you get one question only repeated one if you get both the questions in the or in all of this then you will get into two marks right 70 marks is a very decent mark studying 10 questions with 10 questions only you will get 70 marks all is that what you need to know is which are those 10 questions for that you have to put little effort okay so uh, this was how uh, you will be using the tricks to pass the video exams and uh, one more thing what i wanted to tell is if you're starting to learn any uh, module okay subject what you are supposed to do is see if you have uh, a concept uh, regarding um, uh, suppose it's the uh, system software concept top down parser okay you have not heard the word top down parser at all and that question came in exam in this case what you have to do is if you have to write down about the top down parser first what you will write where is the top down parser in which topic it is which module it is at least you need to know that okay if you know about uh, which module it is and which uh, chapter it is or what is the part at that time what you can start is about writing about that module okay firstly you will write about that module what does that module discuss about and what are the things present in that after that what is top down parser according to the name whatever you can understand write that top down parser means from top to down right no matter how stupid it looks just keep it in your mind top to down okay top to down what it's parsing parsing means what here you will get many content to write what is top to down what is parsing why it is top to down why not it is down to top what is the peculiarity of uh, having top to down means you will be first starting from the uh, general then you will be moving on to the specific parts parsing means what and uh, it contains of syntax analysis and all these are the things which you need uh, uh, which you need not know uh, by this concept only this concept you know from the other topics right so that you have to include in between okay after that you can make some diagram as well explaining whatever it is so don't worry if the diagram what you are making has never been existed in the textbook before or in the notes okay what they care is about just you are making the diagram or not and uh, label something uh, what uh, you are explaining explain your own words and highlight some important thing like top down parsing syntax analysis compiler like that you have to highlight it okay a small effort can save you many marks at least you will get three to four marks for this one you will not get zero marks okay you will get three to four uh, for this one for a hard work of a slight effort you just have to apply some uh, some of your brain and you can easily uh, get three to four marks this is how you fetch extra marks in this question okay <clears throat> And many more uh, things are there I wanted to discuss but uh, not to make this video long I will be discussing that in the separate video and uh, let me know if this trick works for you and in the comment box after the exams and uh, thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and that helps me to make more videos like this and I will see you in the next one.